Hey guys, you all know how much I love coffee, and drinking coffee is kind of, it's almost become a spiritual thing to me, like it's part of who I am, and thinking while drinking coffee is much better than thinking while drinking anything else. Anyways, since I have all of this thinking that I do while I'm drinking coffee, um, I have a lot of memories that I think of. And so I have some mugs that people have given me, and I want to talk about those mugs and the memories attached to the people that gave me those mugs. First, I'm going to start with this one. This one was given to me by Amy. Amy is an internet friend. She is definitely one of my three best internet friends. And, um... She sent this in a big package of things when she knew I was going through a rough time. She just gave me a whole bunch of things, including candy in this mug. And she says, I woof you on the other side. But it's just a very special mug to me. And she's a very special person. Um, me my memory for her is just staying up late and talking to her and having various conversations from silly to serious. And just getting to know Amy mug is this one that Joe gave me. It reminds me of how our friendship started and how different we are, yet how we're so similar. When we met, it was at church and she had a Hunger Games shirt on and I said, hey, I like your shirt. I went, uh, I went to that church for the first time, that's where I met her, and I hadn't been there before. And I told her that I liked her shirt, and then she like sat down and was like, who are you? And for a moment I thought she was crazy, and then I had talked to the wrong person. And now I'm still pretty convinced that she's crazy, but I talked to the right person. Anyways, if it hadn't been for her kind of forcing me to go out to eat with youth group after class, then we probably wouldn't have kept going to that church, and we wouldn't actually still be friends. I remember back we were so much younger then. It wasn't that much long. It wasn't that long ago, but I don't know. I feel like we've changed a lot. Um, we went through our Hunger Games phase kind of together. It was towards the end of mine, and. Uh, we had a whole lot in common, and at first we were all overly polite, and we tried to be so nice to each other, and that's changed a lot. Our ch friendship has changed, and we've changed, but we're still best friends. Um, so, whenever I drink out of one of the cups that Joanna gave me, I think about those things and memories we have together. This one is from New York City. I got it for... I think Christmas? I'm not sure, but my mom gave it to me. This is my favorite color pink, and she got it when we went to New York City last year, and that is one of my favorite memories of all, because just meeting a bunch of strangers while I was there, I met this guy in a bookstore, and he happened that he wrote plays, and um, one of his plays was actually going to be going on while we were supposed to be there. And I stood in the bookstore and talked to him for about two hours, and it was really interesting because originally he was from about two hours from where I live. So we got to talk about our area and just trading opinions and then talking about writing. And that's one of my favorite memories of all time. Um, being in New York City in general was just a wonderful experience, even the rain and watching people, how they react to the rain in the city compared to how they react to the rain here. And just all the memories that I have in New York City and how much I love New York City. It, I really, this sounds really cliche, but when I put coffee in one of these cups and drink out of one of these cups, the way I feel the coffee is, it feels like being there. That doesn't make sense, and it's probably very crazy, but that's that. This is my Sherlock cup. I painted this with a friend um, at a pottery place near us, and you probably can't see, oh kinda, there's a smiley face at the bottom because this orange, the yellow at the top was supposed to be like the, oh sorry, I wish you could see, you see there, that's like the circle around the smiley and then there's a smiley inside, it says 221B on the handle. Um, anyways, this cup just reminds me of a special friendship that I have with a girl we met a very long time ago, and we were best friends for a while. And then some things happened, and we both had feelings for the same guy. She dated the guy, and um, our friendship kind of grew apart. Not because of that, but 
just because of a lot of things. And eventually I ended up ending this friendship. Well, after a while we ended up reconciling our differences and we became friends again. And this is from the first time that we actually hang out, hung out after that. And so it's really um, a good memory of how things work out and how even if you mess up, things can be fixed and they can go back to the way they were before. So those are a few memories from a few mugs. I have a lot of mugs and I don't think that this video could hold all of the memories. So I don't know if this was just really weird or I have no idea. But thank you for watching and if you ever feel like buying me anything for like my birthday this year, you know, if you wanted to buy me something for my birthday, June 4th, buy me mugs. I, I love mugs. Anyways, do you all have a favorite mug? Tell me about it. Okay, bye.